Okay, one thing I did first was I raised the corner of the gate with that crowbar and then I put this, slid this scrap board under it. That's gonna help you a lot get it all, all, all adjusted correctly. Good luck. Start by pushing one bar into the other like so. Hold on now. Yeah, you gotta be sure those holes down there are the same orientation as these holes. Okay, you get that in like that. Then bring it up. That's why I only use one lag screw there. You may have noticed my previous one, I had it on the wrong side. Be sure you're on the outside of the gate for this mount here. I did one lag screw at the bottom. It says you may want to drill pilot holes first. I didn't and I hadn't had anything split. Uh, and these at the bottom are the long lag screws. At the top, use the shorter ones. I couldn't go down as far as I wanted because of this locking post, but on the previous one, I put it right there. I didn't have anything in the way. Then you're gonna put your two self-tapping screws in here. And uh, this is where you wanna make sure your battery's good and charged up because it takes a while to chew through. That's some good heavy gauge metal they use, thankfully. But uh, you might wanna drill a pile hole first. It'll probably be easier, but I didn't. So I'll put the other one in now. Okay, I went ahead and screwed in the remaining lag, lag screws. Uh, the ones on top are the short ones and you know you know i said don't i didn't drill but this top one i did because it's so close to the edge there that i went ahead pre-drilled because I, kn I knew it would split just like split over there a little while back okay and then i got them down here at the bottom these are the long ones now all i have to do well one last step is install this l bracket i guess holds everything kind of in line here so i'm Okay, there's the hold down bracket installed. I think I called it an L bracket, but I don't think they call it that in the instructions. I think they call this an L bracket. Okay, now the magic begins. Loosen this bottom nut here. So you got some slack to adjust. And start tightening this one here until it lifts off that board that you placed down below. Keep doing that until it comes off of that board down there. Lift it up and tighten the bottom one up to lock it in place. And then looky here, the whole gate swings easily open as well as the other side. And now I do not have to go through complete hell every time I open this gate. Whoever invented this is a freaking genius. If you like it, like this video, please subscribe. Most of my videos are about music, but every once in a while I get one up about fixing stuff as I do that as well. Have a good day. And the finished product. Some of you sharper eyed people may notice that the latch didn't squared away and that's because the dumbasses that installed this gate put the latch on upside down which doesn't bother me as i have a crossbar with brackets in front of it but i may change it someday thank you hope you enjoyed this